What's up, guys? So, um, I'm here with Elise today, and we go out a lot and drink coffee whenever we're talking about things, and she's a big coffee enthusiast, and I'm just not. So, but oddly enough, I know a lot about coffee, and I wanted to see if I knew what she knew, because she's really obsessed with coffee. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be kind of fun to make a video where we talk about coffee. Maybe there's some interesting facts you don't know. And I thought it would be really fun if we do it drinking coffee. But not just any coffee. I was really thorough in my research method. I went to Amazon and I typed in strong coffee. And it pulled up a really strong coffee called Death Wish Coffee, which you can see right here. It's a lovely dark roast, and uh, we have it brewed up right now. I'm a little scared of it because I don't know what to expect from this brew. What do you think is going to happen? Well, we're definitely going to get wired. Um, the average cup of coffee, which is about 12 ounces, has about 95 milligrams of caffeine. And I believe when I read up on Death Wish, there were 375 milligrams of coffee. Or caffeine in <laughs> that cup of coffee. <laughs> so. It's like four times stronger than any coffee ever. Okay. Well, either way, I'm pretty excited. Um, coffee has never been my thing. I always drink tea when we go out. So this is kind of a new experience for me. But I want to see what it does to you because you're a complete coffee veteran. Let's take a moment and show off our mugs. Oh, yes. I brought my Pokeball mug. I, I actually use this for tea a lot because it's kind of small. But... I really do love this thing. It's an adorable mug. My only problem is I have big hands and it's a tiny <laughs> cup. So whenever I have like a hot beverage in it, my fingers touch it on the sensitive side, oh. which is super uncomfortable. That but, would be. But I don't, I play through the pain because I want everyone to know <laughs> <laughs> I love Pokemon. Well, I want everyone to know I love Legend of Zelda, which I know you do too, Steven. Yeah, I'm actually wearing a Zelda shirt today. Peak so. of the Zelda shirt. Nice. And this is my Hyrulean Shield mug. I don't have to worry about my fingers touching the sides. I got plenty of space. Look at that handle. It's like... It's massive. Oh. That's the kind of handle that cup needs. It's like the escape hatch for an airplane. Okay. <laughs> I gotta put the creamer in first, which I'm not gonna do as much as I normally do because I want to get a good effect of the coffee. That's not as much as you usually do. No. Ask anyone that knows me. Elise, would you like some this coffee is like creamer? Half the cup. <laughs> it's the bottom of the cup. Now it takes about ten minutes to feel the effects of coffee. So let's be sure to let it sink in as we go, and then we'll assess the, the process. You did it wrong though. You put it in after you, you poured see, your coffee. You see, I know that now, it's a classic mistake, but I like the way creamer looks when it goes into black coffee. It does look pretty. Um, and I'm just proud of you for not drinking this with sugar right now, because I there's, know you. There's sugar in the creamer. So you're just a big liar. Well, see, okay, I was thinking that if it was sugar in the creamer with the the high caffeinated effects of the coffee, it'd be a double rush of already the triple rush that we're going to be getting from, from the coffee itself. Got like a contact high touching the cup. <laughs> That's actually really good Ooh, coffee. That tastes really good. I expected like heroin in a cup because everyone, <laughs> all right, the reviews for this coffee were hilarious. I read them for like 20 minutes. What everyone, were the best ones? Well, they all had like caps lock on and none of them <laughs> were using punctuation. It was magnificent. I had to get it whether I'm trying it or not. You know what? This is like a hot drink. So having a cardigan is just not going to work. <laughs> Um, yeah, you're already getting kind of sweaty there. I'm a little hot too, man. But is, I got a t-shirt. Nothing else Nothing else comes off after this. I am very excited about this, actually. I'm so happy you're letting me keep the bag. <laughs> that's, that's just going to be my joy right there. You know, I feel like the design for that cup is just wrong. Hang on. Let me look at this thing. Of this cup? Yes. This is such a great cup. No, I like the cup, but look. It's got, like, nothing there. You see? So... <laughs> I feel like this side should be the one you drink out of, like a spout. How are you working on your cup? Take a look. You see? pretty good. I I'm, think we're about the same right now. I'm feeling very warm, but I don't think that's the caffeine. I think it's just the coffee. Just the coffee. It's a hot beverage. I... You can do iced coffee, of course, which a lot of people don't like. I honestly prefer doing 
like iced Americanos and then put some flavoring in there, which is pretty good, mm. especially when it's hot out. And then you can still get your buzz. Or ice double shots are fantastic, which is almost this, basically the same thing. But then you can add things like I do, like vanilla sweet cream. Or in the fall time, I'll go ahead and add pumpkin syrup to it. It's fantastic. So interestingly enough, coffee is actually pretty good for you. It's not unhealthy for you by any means. However, if you drink it the way that I drink it, that's when it starts to turn unhealthy. Because you saw how much <laughs> little, little cream and sugar I just put in mine. And um, Little cream. That's like half the bottle. Why would you buy this bottle knowing that you will use it all? Because I like having different flavors no they make big bottles they got like they do make oh. big bottles but if i get all the big bottles i won't have room in my fridge i tend to buy three to four creamers when i go to the grocery store because i like to have variety how about i run some of my coffee knowledge by you coffee beans are what are used to make coffee right correct but coffee beans aren't beans correct they're fruit pits Bravo, Steven! Hey. Did you know that the most expensive coffee bean in the world comes out of poop? Mm-hmm. Kopi uh, Luwak. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was interesting. I would actually really like to try it someday. Uh, you can try it, and I'll watch. It's very expensive. Uh, it is expensive, and it is digested by a cat. So there's various different strains of the coffee plant, but there's also the process of roasting it differently, mm -hmm. where you dry it out and roast it. But the pits, when you draw them from the uh, berry itself, they're green. That's right. When they roast them, they turn brown, and they pop and double in size. Oh, I didn't know that, that they popped. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. How's your, how's your cup going? Mm. I'm almost at the bottom. You are almost at the bottom. In my defense, my cup's a little bit bigger. It's a little bigger. Well, yeah, it's a little bigger. My ears are starting to tingle a little bit. Excuse me. They That's a good feeling. They didn't warn us about that. Well, the brewing ratio, I didn't measure. You didn't measure? I eyeballed it. You probably eyeballed more because you're such a coffee fanatic. I like to see the filter full. I thought this was hilarious. It came in its own box. No, no warnings on the box either. Just says world's strongest coffee. Something else, um, coffee is the biggest supplier of antioxidants in the diet of anybody in Western civilization. Because antioxidants, they are a, uh, they're the substance that helps keep you immune from chronic diseases like Parkinson's or Alzheimer's, type two diabetes, to name a few, and. That's not too surprising that they're rich in antioxidants being coffee beans because they come from berries and berries are naturally rich in antioxidants. So people who drink coffee are typically more resilient against these types of res diseases and are therefore less likely to contract them. I guess it's good to know that when you get older I won't have to put you in a home, lady. Okay, so some I made a classic mistake. When the coffee sits in your cup, it gets colder, and then when you get the a new cup of coffee, you expect it to be the same temperature, but it's not. It's not. It's much hotter, so now I guess I just won't taste food for the next few days. See, my tongue and my lips are immune, kind of like Khaleesi when it comes to that, because I've burnt myself so many times, I don't you're, feel it anymore. You're throwing spoilers in the video. Spoiler alert! Spoiler! For the spoiler machine here. You crazy. If you don't know who Daenerys Targaryen is by now, that's your own freaking fault. It's just like if you don't know that Han Solo's dead. You are you are straight savagery when you drink coffee. Don't mess. <laughs> don't mess. I feel very I'm I'm not feeling like coffee warm now. I'm a different kind of I'm warm. I'm a really different kind of warm right now. Are you are you feeling that too? I'm fine. I'm just I hate sitting down right now. I'm kinda getting jittery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting my beaks down. Has it been ten minutes? Uh, I think so. Oh, I yeah. haven't wait. Yes, it's been well over ten minutes. The timer says 20. 
<laughs> oh my god. How are you feeling? I'm this feeling is... actually pretty good. All right, is this coffee doing anything for you? Mm-hmm. Mm. And that's saying a lot, because I'm able to drink coffee at night now. And I can have a cup of coffee... I can have a cup of coffee like 10, 11 o'clock at night and still go to bed and sleep just fine. So being able to have coffee that late and oh. not really feel it is saying something, but I'm feeling this. I like mugs. I like, I like mugs too. Did you know espresso beans are the exact same beans as regular coffee? And the difference is? They just grind espresso beans way finer than regular coffee. Mm -hmm. Which increases its potency when you brew it. Right. Freeze, punk! <laughs> now imitate a chicken! Don't hurt me, I got this down! <laughs> May I have more, please? Alright, here's one I don't think that you know, okay? What? Okay. The webcam, thank you, was invented for coffee. I did not know this. Why? There are students who went to Cambridge who would get up, walk all the way to the break room just to discover the coffee pot was empty. So what they did is they created a camera that could live stream the coffee pot all the time. What? As a general rule in the office, if you kill the Joe, you make some mo. Yep. And to clarify, put leaving like 10 drops of coffee in the bottom of the coffee pot so is is criminal, okay? So criminal. That is not enough to caffeinate anyone. So if it's that low, then you have officially killed the coffee pot. Proper coffee etiquette states that you must leave at least half a cup of coffee there... left in the pot. Is Before. there proper coffee etiquette? Of course there's proper yeah. coffee etiquette. There's proper coffee etiquette. We should be drinking with our pinkies out. <laughs> <laughs> I held both my pinkies out. <laughs> my cup is so big, though. I wasn't sure which one to put out. Well, I got some coffee sweats going on. I never had those before, so this is new. Um, <laughs> Alcohol. Holy <laughs> so my ears are more tingly now. Hmm. We should stop dipping them in the coffee. And then we'll this <laughs> I was eating a burger at a restaurant, and while I was sitting there minding my own business, a uh, lady who I found out later was a vegetarian, she uh, looked at me and said, how do you sleep at night? And it didn't connect with me that she was looking down on me with this question. I thought she was actually asking how I sleep at night. And I said, with the fan on me. <laughs> with the fan on me. <laughs> we're going to need to like, do some serious laughs here. No, we're going to have to go like go to the gym or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you see lines? I see spots. See spots? I see lines. Together we're quite the connect the dots duo. I didn't know what to expect drinking this coffee. So we both came at this blind. Proof that we killed the cup mm. of coffee the pot of coffee here. We did. So whole pot's gone. Um, I'm taking the last bit because apparently I'm behind. Uh <laughs> According to research, actually, coffee is a great drink to drink before you go to the gym because coffee has been proven to increase your metabolism upwards to 11%, oh. which is insane, by the way. Oh. Um, but it also increases blood flow and helps burn fat. So drinking a cup before you go and work out, it helps you uh, lose weight in the process. Also interesting fact for those of you who like living studies have shown that people who drink coffee live longer mm. oh brutal okay that was good uh, uh, uh okay so now my fingers single i feel fine um but we did it 
Um, this is Death Wish Coffee. I've really enjoyed doing this video, and I want to thank Elise for uh, doing this with me. So um, we're going to post a link in the description below for where you can purchase this coffee. And if we have any other research that we happen to have tracked, we'll post it down there too. Uh, until next time, it has been a pleasure. Take Bye. care, people.